Hello and welcome to Let's Play The Lamplighters League and The Tower at the End of the World with me, Bring It On. The Lamplighters League was developed by Harebrained Schemes and published by Paradox Interactive. It released on October 3rd, 2023 and is a tactical RPG. I don't know if there is an official name for this genre, but think The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen and late 19th, early 20th turn of the century adventure. Anything set in that period sucks me right in, so I'm really excited about this game. Let's jump into a new game. And I'll stick with Medium, the Adventurer. For players familiar with turn-based tactics games, moderately challenging tactical missions, steady enemy progression on the world map. You can also create a custom game. I'm not going to mess with any of that. Here's late. Hey! Hey. <laughs> You're uh, welcome. Well done. What's your name again? The gentleman, Jim. At your service. Hmm. And we're married to that name, are we? What's wrong with my leg? How about I find our missing courier? You stay here and guard my back. So you can get the baggage yourself and cut me out of the job. Ah, nice try. Whatever you say, Gentleman Jin. Was that so hard? But that's my professional name. You can just call me Latif. Okay, so you can use WSD to move, or you can click with your mouse to move. I do like options. So, how long have you been working for L? As long as you have, I think. So, about three hours. Got it. Alright, so we're moving in infiltration mode. So you're playing infiltration mode where agents move in real time around the map. Agents have real-time roles, either Sneak, Bruiser, or Saboteur. Flambering. The door head is bolted from the other side. The Sneak, as a Sneak, Latif can clamber up the nearby netting and unlock the door for Ingrid. The door is barred. I guess you're lucky I'm here then. Oh, you waited for me. Didn't have much of a choice. Let's go. Breaking walls. Ingrid is a bruiser, able to bring down weakened barriers to create new paths through the environment. Use Ingrid's real-time ability to break through this crumbling wall. 
How's that for a kicker? The trick is wanting it bad enough. Follow me. I press G or double click on an agent with the mouse to group the agents together. When grouped, unselected agents automatically follow the one under your control. Enemies can't catch them in their field of vision. Alright, so just do the op do the same thing to ungroup them. Recon mode. This is recon mode. Use it to explore the world and gain useful information about various objects, including enemies and the agents. Use WASD to move the cursor to the edge of the screen. Uh, to move the camera, then mouse over an object for info. To get more detailed information on your agents and enemies, press mouse or spacebar. Exit recon mode by pressing R a second time. Alright, let's read Latif. Active effects, dodge, passive ability. Latif gains plus one evade when he performs a movement ability and quick draw. Passive ability. Latif gains a plus 20% crit chance against flanked and unaware targets. And he's a sneak. AKA the Gentleman Jin, a young master thief with the skills to match his boasts. Quick on his feet and always on the move. Latif evades enemy fire by feats of misdirection and his own lightning reflexes. Ingrid. Active effects. Killer Instinct 1. Passive ability. Upon killing an enemy, Ingrid gains plus one AP, can activate two times per round. Then her description. A femme fatale with a mysterious past and a deadly right hook. A skilled brawler. Ingrid excels against groups of enemies. Scoring a knockout blow only fuels her killer instinct, allowing her to do more per turn. I'm not sure if there's going to be much reason to explore, Someone has blocked but... the streets. Definitely not police. Yeah. If I didn't know better, I think someone was trying to funnel movement. It always pays to be thorough, so I'm going to explore... Look, See? there's a courier. Uh, uh, he's sleeping? <laughs> the lore and something we can inspect. The headlines. Tomorrow's issue of Le Piet Parisian already fills the stands. March 4th, 1932. A letter from our employer. The mysterious L. A letter. Monsieur T. My agents will meet you as arranged and I expect you will deliver. Why else would he write our mutual friend about discovering the cards? Surely, you know he would write to me. So sell me the deck and be done with it. Do not stand between me and my revenge. L. Check down here before we investigate his corpse. In the window. The display window for this used bookstore bears two posters. One is an advertisement for a new brand of Spanish gramophone. The other offers a warning. The she-beast is coming. Nope, he's dead. And no sign of the package. So much for an easy job. The poor guy's still warm. The package can't be far. Another of those masked soldiers from the roof. Who are they? No idea. But ten francs as one of them has our package. Sizing up the options. There's a lookout up ahead in a well-defended position. Get too close, and the agents will enter the guard's field of vision, causing him to become suspicious. A frontal attack is an option, but not the only one. Scoundrels like Ingrid and Latif can handle certain threats while staying silent. A sneak's advantage. As a sneak, Latif has several advantages during infiltration. When not grouped with other agents, he moves more quietly and can approach enemies from behind without being detected. Ungroup and switch to Latif to narrow the Enforcer's field of vision, then move Latif behind the Enforcer. 
Give me a moment. Takedowns. During infiltration, agents can use takedowns to quietly dispatch enemies. This lone sentry is a perfect target for the sneak takedown. Sucker punch. Switch to Latif, move him behind the sentry, and press spacebar. So much for him. Any sign of the package? These guys are flunkies. We're looking for a bigger fish. <sighs> An hour ago, this was a cakewalk. Now we've got the dead courier and goons in gas masks. Through the skylight. Lo is a lone night watchman slouched in a chair, fast asleep. Beside him is a spirit board. The planship points to the letter H. I wonder if that's supposed to be foreshadowing. Slam. Two guards up ahead, too many for a sneak to sucker punch. But bruises like Ingrid can use Slam to take down up to three targets at once. Slam makes more noise than other takedowns, but dead men don't get suspicious. Switch to Ingrid and press spacebar, and with the mouse, they confirm with spacebar. Takedown limits. Agents have a limited number of takedowns they can perform per mission. The number of uses remaining is displayed on the abilities icon. Let's meet up. So two, got it. Lights out. The multi takedowns, like what she just did, doesn't count. Um, it's uses, not individual takedowns. Suspicion. Make too much noise or enter their field of vision. The enemies will become suspicious. Indicated by a question mark over their head. When an already suspicious enemy sees or hears something fishy, an expanding red circle appears around them, indicating they are searching their surroundings. If an agent gets caught in that red circle, combat will start. But this enforcer has his back turned to some low cover, so it won't be hard to slip past him undetected. Using cover. All agents can use cover to stay out of sight even when inside an enemy's field of vision. Cloaked in shadow. Snakes have an extra trick up their sleeves. When ungrouped and next to any cover, snakes are cloaked, meaning an enemy can only see them when standing right in front of them, even when they're in that enemy's direct line of sight. Grouping up with other agents will make a sneak easier to spot, though. Stay close or split up. That's a gamble either way. Another flunky. Perhaps we can slip past them. I want to look around real quick. Yeah, so there's things we can inspect here. Through the skylight. Below is a bank's entrance hall. Its marble columns all arrayed like a chess like chessboard pieces in a crooked game. Let's get it Through the window. Beyond the glass is a wealthy banker's private office. On the desk, miles and millennia from home, 
It's a small granite statue of an Egyptian pharaoh. It looks lonely. Making sure there's nothing we can inspect. statue no okay come on come on seems like half of Paris wants this package yeah the gas mask wearing half ambushes sooner or later it'll be time to fight best to do it on the agent's own terms position the agents then enter turn-based mode with control choose that opening attack carefully as soon as enemies become aware of the agent's presence they'll take cover making them harder to hit all agents get a plus 15% to hit bonus in the first round of combat. Alright, going loud. Ingrid and Latif have gone loud and are now in turn-based combat. Agents make to take their turn in any order. Abilities and action points. Agents combat abilities appear in the ability bar at the bottom of the screen. Each ability costs one or more action points to use. Navigate the ability bar with arrow keys by selecting with the mouse or by pressing the matching number key indicated below the ability bar button. Movement. Movement in combat costs one or two AP depending on the distance traveled. Select the move ability, then use WASD, or move the mouse to choose the destination in spacebar, or mouse to confirm. You won't be in range either way. What abilities do we have? Onslaught. Signature ability. A sweeping compound attack that deals damage and inflicts knockdown upon all adjacent enemies. Special effects. Knockdown. It's a debuff. This unit has fallen over. Knockdown units can't perform actions until they're back on their feet. We also have an evade option. So move, movement ability, move to target tile. Evade, self buff ability, gain plus one evade. A special effect is evade. First attack attempt made against this unit automatically misses, lasts for one round. And we also have strike. Melee basic attack, a bone crushing blow that applies dazed on crit, and daze is a debuff. This unit has minus one AP for one round. And Latif has a decoy. Signature ability, Latif sets a 120 hit point decoy in a cloud of smoke, becomes invisible, and moves to a selected location. Nearby enemies attack the decoy for two rounds or until destroyed, AoE nine tiles. Special effects, smoke. Incoming attacks against the against units in smoke have a minus 25% chance to hit and to crit. An invisible buff. Enemies cannot see or target this unit. And he has a pistol. It's a ranged basic attack. A skillful shot with Latif's pistol, plus 20% crit chance versus flanked and unaware enemies. Accurate at close range. And overwatch. Overwatch ability, attacks the first enemy that moves or performs a hostile action within the targeted area, ends his turn. And reload, refills all ammo in the agent's weapon. Targeting. Some abilities need a target, cycle through all targets in range with D and tab, and select one with spacebar. While targeting, the ability's chance to hit and chance on hit to score critical damage are displayed on the right side of the screen. Change of heart, cancel target mode with escape.
Surprise! Alright, so signature abilities. This is a signature ability. It's an agent's most powerful move. Agents can only use their signatures once permission, but if deployed correctly, they can change the tide of battle. Well, I'll be using that right now then. So he spent his one AP. That should have dazed him. So he has more than something's bothering me. The courier's body was a pincushion, but none of these goons have knives. And the sooner we find this package, the better. So he has more than two AP, is what I'm gathering, because he moved and then shot. But he should have been missing a AP, because he should have been dazed. Plus, I misunderstood something. Don't wander. Cover. Agents behind cover are harder to hit, providing them with a defensive advantage during combat. The shield icon next to an object indicates whether it provides half cover or full cover. In full cover, agents are more protected, but may lose line of sight on enemies. Enemies will take advantage of cover too. Plant them to get a... Oh, the cursor is over it. Plant them to get a clear shot, indicated by the gold tra uh, trajectory lines visible when moving and targeting. Eavesdrop. Overheard. She's not back yet, is she? Calm down. Boss says she's praying. Praying? But I heard screaming. No, you didn't. You understand me? When it comes to the Nicostros, you didn't hear nothing. It doesn't seem like we get experience for fighting enemies. Hang back. It was you or me. So, we should be rewarded for avoiding fights where we can. A challenge! That's all I ask! Now, it could be a post-mission experience screen. And I'm giving up experience by not fighting all these enemies. So, what's he like? L, I mean. He has neat handwriting, and he pays well. You've never met him either, huh? I bet our package is inside one of those crates. 
Ah, they're loading the trucks to go. Then we need to move fast if we want our payday. Wait, wait. I don't know if she can line up an attack from over there. You can take out these two guys. Alright, so it didn't actually land where it's supposed to. Let's read the lore real quick. Mission report. Magister. Mission success. Lady Nick Ostro has retrieved the deck. Departure is slightly delayed as we wait for her to finish praying. I've already sent a cleanup crew to follow in her wake. Given tonight's excitement, I told them to expect at least three more bodies. Not in range of that, unfortunately. You can strike this guy. Hold off on that. And it's time for me to go. I messed up here. You break easily. Alright, she's in bad shape, but... Do that, and... I could have played this much better had her ability hit both enemies like I had anticipated. Would be fine. One less to worry about. Isn't that a lovely sight? Oh, I did misread that. So it's only dazed on crit. Is that the last of them? It can't be. We still haven't seen whoever carved up the courier. Hey, I have an idea. Let's leave before the butcher shows up. Sit yeah. tight. Look for more lore before we leave. But it does seem like we won't need to keep an eye out for loot or anything. Which takes a little weight off our shoulders. Got the package! Then it's time to go. I have a car just ahead. We can take that to the rendezvous. I'm going to open this package. 
I think we deserve to know what we just risked our lives to steal. I won't tell. And Mr. L hired us to retrieve... Plank cards. Plank? Plank cards? A troop of uniformed mercenaries killed a man. For a deck of blank playing cards? Not what I'd call a winning hand. It will be when we trade it in to Mr. L for our paycheck. This is the place. From here we catch an airplane that takes us to L. Can you fly an aeroplane? Because I could probably figure it out, but... Let's hope the contact we're meeting knows how. I'm not sure how the missions are structured in this game. I assume we just completed one mission and this is a second one? Or is it a continuation of the first one? I think one of the difficulty modifiers mentioned... An overworld map. So I think I'm going to call it here. And in the next one, we'll do the second mission here. I'm going to treat each episode... Well, it's going to be very episodic, because every mission will be one episode. At least that's the, the way I plan on handling this Let's Play. So... Let's, uh, let's recon real quick, just to get a feel for the map size. I don't know how far out it's going to let me look. Yeah, it's a whole other mission, so. I'm going to call it here. Next time, we'll knock out the second mission and keep on trekking. But for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.